hey, Christ United Kids, are you guys ready to see what jo what God does next in Joshua's life? It is so amazing. So I want you to get your Bibles. I want you to turn to Joshua chapter 6. So we learned yesterday that the Israelites crossed over the Jordan. They walked on dry land again. And now they're at Jericho, and Jericho has walls all around it. And God has told Joshua that he's going to deliver this land to them. Joshua chapter 6 takes us through the directions that God gives Joshua and the Israelites so that they can conquer Jericho. We're going to watch the big house gang act it out at the beach. And it was super, super fun. But I want you to follow along in your Bibles and read along with us as we act it out. It's so important for us to read God's words for ourselves. God is so amazing. And he did such a big, cool, cool thing. As you're watching this story and as you're reading it, I want you to imagine it happening in real life and how amazed and how awed you would be at how big and powerful God is. Guys, let's pray real fast and thank God for being big and powerful. God, we thank you so much. We love you. Thank you for being powerful, for being mighty. Thank you for the stories in the Bible that teach us of how amazing you are and help us to never, ever forget it. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys, be sure to check in tomorrow for Big House. We are going to learn about a different Bible hero whose story is a little bit similar to Joshua's. And I can't wait to see you guys then. Hey, Christ United Kids, I am so excited that you're joining us today. Guess what? I'm here with the Big House Kids and we are gonna bring you a Bible story from the book of Joshua. So if you have your Bibles, open them up to Joshua 6. We're gonna be learning about when Joshua and the Israelites marched around Jericho and something amazing happened. Get ready to follow along in our Bibles. Here we go. All right, guys, are you ready to meet our characters in this awesome, exciting story? Our first character is none other than Joshua. Joshua was big and strong and brave and God chose him to be the leader of the Israelites after Moses had died. After Joshua is our army. The military, the people with the swords and the awesome hats, they were there to help fight the people in Jericho. After the army is the priest. Our priest walked behind the army with horns and they would blow them hard as they were going into battle. And last but not least, were the people that were carrying the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark was where actually God's presence lived. I'm sure it was much, much bigger than this. Now, the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went in and no one came out. Do you see those little heads? They can't even get out. The city of Jericho was safe behind it. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in the front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a, a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up Everyone straight in. So Joshua, son of Nun, called the priest and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. And he ordered the army, Advance, march around the city with an armed god, guard going ahead of the Ark of the Lord. Come on, guys, let's go. When Joshua had spoken to the people, seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward, blowing their trumpets. And the Ark of the Lord, Lord's Covenant, followed them. The armed guard marched ahead of the priest who blew the trumpets, and the rear guard followed the Ark. All this time, the trumpets were sounding. Wait! We forgot something. Joshua had commanded the army, do not give a war cry. Do not raise your voices. Do not say a word until the day I tell you to shout. Then shout.
And then the army returned to the camp and spent the night there. Joshua got up early the next morning and the priests took up the Ark of the Lord. The seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward, marching before the Ark of the Lord, blowing their trumpets. The armed men went ahead of them in the rear, following the guard, following the Lord while the trumpets kept sounding. So on the second day, they marched around the city once and returned to camp. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except on that day, they circled the city seven times. Charged straight in and they took the city. 